Hey guys, and welcome back to Shimogami Tensei 5. I'm your host, Walking Tutorial Encyclopedia, and in this episode, we continue our journey as we try and reach Tokyo Tower. Along the way, though, we might as well make a little stop near Mita because, well, Gustav told us to. And if we can't trust good old Gustav, who can we trust in this forsaken netherworld? I don't know, but I know one thing. Looks like there's some demons blocking our path. Young man, there is a demon up ahead. Allow me to teach you an efficient way to engage the enemy. When confronting demons, the best strategy is to strike them with your blade. In many cases, this will give you the initiative in the battle. On the other hand, if you are attacked, the enemy may very well gain the initiative instead. Observe the enemy's movements and act accordingly to earn an advantage in battle. In SMT5, Demons Prowl the Overworld. And it's a franchise first. Demons have so many animations, and you gotta look out for some of them. If you're not careful, these demons will just fly at you, and like Algami said, get the initiative. It's always important to get the first strike because, well, it gives you a lot of various buffs, but as you'll notice, yeah, Nahobino hits really, really fast and has a ton of range, so. Let's begin the battle against this foul race slime, which is an interesting demon for a lot of reasons. Many of the demons we encounter in Shin Megami Tensei have either religious or mythological origins. Slime, on the other hand, actually originates from pop culture. The earliest depiction of a slime monster is actually the 1950 horror film, The Blob. And uh, that was actually really, really fast, so might as well just try and take on another one. My god, they just have no self-preservation at all. Hand behind you, bro. <laughs> saying. Try a little. But once the blob came out, we actually had the D&D 10-foot &D tall gelatinous cube. That's actually the monster's name, which led to a slime creature appearing in Wizardry, then Dragon Quest, and now in Shimagami Tensei. Sort of just passing the torch of the slime monster appearing in RPGs. However, in Shin Megami Tensei, slimes actually function a little bit differently than in other forms of media. Slimes are actually failed demon fusions and summons. That's their entire purpose, which is why they're usually awful, just like now. Yeah, they're weak to five different forms of magic, including Zeo, as you can obviously tell. And yeah, they're just not very good. Dare I say, bordering on worthless. I actually need to conserve my MP a little bit, so let's just go for the, uh, puny slash. Seriously, the, uh, attack is just... I know we're leveling strength, but ser it's not gonna help. Oh, man, we got pretty close to the, uh, level on Pixie. I'm taking my time here because, well, we actually have a couple of fairly challenging moments in this episode, which I want to be, like, fully prepared for because I don't want to game over in my walkthrough. That just does not set a good precedent. I know it's going to happen, because this game is pretty challenging for the most part, but, you know, if I can avoid it, I'm going to try. And there's a lot of slimes up here. As badly as I love the guys, I want to keep talking about them. I think it's just best to run past them. Or walk, because there's something going on up ahead. Oh, God, what is that? Don't want to eat me? Not a lot of flavor, you know? Trust me! Oh, hey! You! You with the long hair! You'll save me, right? Oh, please! Who are you? You think you can snatch away our prey? What damn you starving in there down here? So I guess we'll be slapping you on the menu too! Hey, hold on, time out, time out! Your dicks are out! You nasty effing freaks! Get that out of my face! Literally! If you're so hungry, eat a zeal! We gotta make this snappy. These guys, the longer they're on screen, the higher chance I get in trouble. So, let's double tap the A button and abridge the combat animations versus these rather hungry ghosts. They're chewing on Pixie, and I don't like it! Kinda jealous! 
But we're out of MP, so let's go for a basic attack. And that's a red. Yeah, they're uh really pathetic. The Predas, that is. So give good EXP for this stage in the game. And now, not only did we level up, but Pixie as well. And once demons reach a certain level, they will gain access to new skills. Which Pixie gets Zon, which is wind magic. And also a buffing skill called Rakukaja, which we'll talk about more later. A relief. Seriously, thanks. You really saved me back there. Huh? You know, now that I think about it, I like totally had the judgment to ask for your help. So doesn't that make me awesome too? Okay, never mind then. Like you deserve thanks anyway. The only reason I'm alive is because I asked you for help, and you know it. Don't try to deny it, either. Oh? Yeah? Well, you would know. You're pretty annoying, too. Wait a sec. I just realized I've never seen you before, huh? <laughs> wow, how weird. So, so who are you? Hmm? Where are you headed? Young man, there are demons in this world that feign kindness to prey on you. I suggest we ignore her and move on. What? Hey, you're leaving? Like, seriously? Uh. <laughs> well, well, fine. See if I care. Man, I really gotta stop telling fairy-like creatures that they're annoying and ugly. That They don't usually like that, fun fact. But as badly as I want to keep battling butt-naked ghosts, let's turn around real quick and explore the other side of the fork, seeing as there's a couple things I want to point out, and the first of which is right here, a vending machine with some soda cans. Is this a commentary on Japan's obsession with vending machines being everywhere? Maybe. But hey, there's some Skittles nearby, and that's the gas station combo of my dreams. Skittles and soda. Not the Preta. I might as well talk about the Preta. They're actually a um, hungry ghost spirit in Hindu and Buddhist texts. They're pretty much the reincarnated souls of humans who in a previous life were greedy or corrupt, and now that they're reincarnated, they just are always hungry as a form of penance. In SMT, they're depicted with like bloated stomachs, which is a reference to Kawashi Okor, and they're also depicted with their dicks out, which I'm not a fan of, as we know, but I am a fan of battling Pixie, because, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, huh? Oh, right. Hey, hey, I want Maka. If you give me some, I'll let you go. So sometimes demons will negotiate with you if they get the jump on you. This Pixie will let us go free if we just give it a third of our money. Yeah, I'm all right. Fine. I'm just gonna kill you. So much for negotiations, but I mean, come on, these are just pixies. We can obviously. Oh. I spoke too soon. All right, their Magatsuhi gauge is full. I don't like that. So instead, let's just try and negotiate because, well, their next attack is a guaranteed crit, and I don't want to deal with that. Oh, your friends will run my friends. You gotta be nice to them, okay? We've heard about you. You've been saying mean things. <laughs> Sorry. Just slipped out. But uh, yeah, if you have a demon in your party and you're fighting the same demon, you can end the battle automatically just by talking to them. And it's a nice little trick to keep in the back of your mind once you're struggling. But yeah, now that we got that out of the way, I just thought it'd be a good little tip to tell you guys early on. After all, this might be someone's first SMT game. So just want to pass that knowledge on, you know, but... Hey, what's up, you, dude? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a Markar. What's the deal, then, pal? Too bad for you. We went to the past city, you gotta go back to the fork in the road. Go the other way. If you talk about detail, you see a twine. It's an E23 something series, I don't know. Some series number, I forget. Let's try it, though. Thank you for the, uh, information, sir. I'll get out of your hair. And, uh, yeah, he's a 
giant liar. This is in fact not a dead end. Well, I guess it depends on your definition, but trust me, you wouldn't explore every nook and cranny of the maps because sometimes you might find something cool. This is not one of those times though. Young man, I'm detecting several demons within the cave. However, they don't appear to be dangerous. Perhaps you can try speaking with them, if you are willing. I'm just kidding. Subquests are actually a lot of fun. Personally, I really like them, and they give very good rewards. So even if you're not a fan of the quest giver, you might want to just help them out anyways. What's up, dudes? Something tells me you don't want to fight. Uh, pretty wiped out. What's up with you? Us bread are always hungry. No matter how much we put away. So you can imagine just a real number on us when we don't get anything to eat. That's a shame. Why don't you just... <laughs> eat each other? Why would I suggest that? Jesus! Have you seen our bunnies? They want us to scout for food. If you see them, tell them to come back. Any longer, they might not have much to come back to. Yes. I guess you're the, uh, leader around here. Hey, boss. Uh, you're late? Wait, who are you? I thought it was the boys. A while back, some of us went out searching for food. But no one's returned yet. Hey, think you could look for our buddies. I'm starving over here. A Preda predicament. Alright, I'll help out. Oh, thanks. If you spot them. Tell them to get their butts back here, Prano. And make sure they bring some food! Alright, I'll pass that message along, so... This may seem like a... Kind of... Burden? That's the... <laughs> apparently the nicest way I could describe it, but no, trust me. He gives a pretty decent reward, we, uh... Might as well... Do it and... Hey, another treasure chest, don't mind me. Hey! And it was an ambush. Oh, God! <laughs> I, I did not mean for that to happen. All right, so this is uh, not really an unwinnable battle, but one I just don't care about. So let's run away, shall we? Usually our odds of escape aren't the best, but uh, yeah. What I was trying to do there was just hop over the little guys. God, they just have the worst reaction times, don't they? So lesson learned. You need to always be careful where you're going because demons will ambush you and if something looks totally safe, chances are it might not be. Just something we have to consider while we're exploring the netherworld. And just gonna pick up this me man real quick. Hey, little guy, how you doing? Demon mood change when full moon or new moon coming. Big opportunity when demon in good mood. Like me. I'm the happiest me man in town. <laughs> All right. Gonna try my best to, uh... See, I don't know. Part of me doesn't want to show where every me man is because I kind of like the idea of just stumbling upon them because that's more organic with the gameplay, but it's not like I can forget the ones I already know where they are, right? But focus too much on Relic. Makes some me men hard to find. Keep eyes peeled. No stone unturned, yeah? Okay, so... It's just absolutely your hint. If there's a stone, look behind it. There's probably a me man there, which is actually very true. Also, if you're one of those types which has to 100% complete every game they play, don't worry, there's a little helper further into the game that makes locating the Mii Man a bit more manageable, but I actually really want to get this chest because it contains a Preda's Essence. And, well, we still don't have a use for these Essence things quite yet, and I don't really want to have anything to do with these guys. They do love to laugh, though. You gotta admire that about them. <laughs> and their starvation, I mean... You know, they're, tr they're still trying, despite their cursed existence. That's admirable. Hey, guys. Your boss is looking for you. They don't seem to care. Very relatable. Maybe me and the Preda aren't so different after all. But, uh, you don't seem to be a Preda. Hi there. Some demons like to fight, but others like to talk. If you make a connection, they might want to be your friend or give you free stuff. Okay. I'll... Oh try my best to befriend all the demons. Not possible, but, uh, 
I'll try, as there seems to be a giant red blob up in the distance. It's pretty intimidating. It's like it's just staring at me. Not a fan. I think I'm going to run to that ley line and just save real quick. Well, now, isn't this a sight to behold? Let me see your face. At last, you have arrived. All of this time, waiting. And only now does one possess the power to see me. One who has awakened to their true form through the reunion of knowledge and life. A Nahobino. I am Sophia. I have come from a plane far beyond this one to act as a guide to both the world and the Nahopino. However, I see now that although your power should rival that of the gods, it is unstable, incomplete. Allow me to awaken some of that which still slumbers within, let us see what you hide. You now possess the means to gain essences, allowing you a myriad of powers and miracles the ability to shape the world. Henceforth, you shall traverse Dot and gather these essences, along with glory, as these are the very source of miracles. These shall be your source of power as a Nahobino, and will surely aid you on your path to Godhood. Now then. It appears you are already in possession of an essence. Go on then. Use Apothis and accept that essence into your being. Welcome to the World of Shadows, a place where we can increase the power of the Nahabino. We can do this with Apothis, which roughly translates from Greek to a being elevating to godhood, which I think is rather fitting. So, with Apothis, we have two actions. We can learn miracles or begin essence fusion. Currently, let's talk about miracles. These are permanent stat augmentations and abilities for our main character. And I'm just gonna come out and say it, they're not all created equal. So I'm gonna show you the ones which I think are the best for your buck. Hand of God is very good, as you'll quickly learn in the netherworld. Money is power. However, empowering cheer I'm not such a big fan of, and I have my reasons. Really, you need to be careful what you spend your glory on, because some miracle upgrades are very, very expensive, like the Cosmos tier. But these are very powerful, and, well, we just can't get any right now. We'll talk a bit more about skill potential in the future, like I keep saying. Next up, let's talk about Essence Fusion. This is where we can finally use the essences that we've been gathering. We have Preta, Slime, and Omoraki, which is a demon we haven't really battled yet. This is how the Nahobino learns new skills. Not by level up. Our demons get new skills almost every time they level. But since Nahobino isn't a demon necessarily, he has to get skills from the essences. And we're going to learn a skill from Preta. His bestial bite skills actually our first instance of a physical attack which scales off our strength stat. And it's actually a pretty oh, decent one, as hopefully I'll be able to show in this episode. And more or less, that's about it. Hope that made some sense. <laughs> Return when you have gathered more demons. Well, well, 
made it to Mita's ley line of found, I see. Then allow me to let you in on a little secret. All ley lines are connected. Quick trip through the ley line crossing and you'll be spirited away to another fountain, no time flat. See for yourself, eh? <laughs> Now that we have two ley lines discovered, we can now travel between them. Which is really gonna come in handy because, well, the netherworld's pretty big. And I might as well just demonstrate real fast. You can just select your region and then the ley line point and just go there in an instant. However, we should probably stay in Mita for the time being. We kinda wrapped up everything we need to do over there. For now, anyway. Before we head out, I might as well heal up our missing MP, because, well, we got those new skills. Be a shame if I couldn't show them off. And speaking of showing stuff off, it's actually something nearby I want to do, but to do so, I kind of need it to be a full moon, and, oh god, that was really close. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Ah, oh, come on, come back! Okay, he should just spawn right over here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so. On Meraki, a uh, Japanese yokai, which his name is hard to say, so I'm just going to call him Chicken Man. Now that the moon is full, something tells me this guy might cooperate. The moon is so big! The moon is so bright, the world, the future bright, 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 bright. Yeah, he's, uh, he's feeling it. All right, the demon seems to be good spirits. I'd agree. You want me to join? Okay, I'll help out by giving you a good price. <laughs> You're too kind. What should I do? Give me medicine. Well, it's better than maca. I got plenty of those lying around. Okay, give me some maca. Uh, shouldn't have mentioned our maca. Here you go, bud. All right, I guess that's enough. <laughs> I'm wrapped on Meraki. Let's have some fun, yeah? Sure thing, dude. One Meraki of the raptor tribe is more or less just a evil bird spirit. In SMT, they decided to make him a chicken with an onion head, and I like it. He's sometimes of the food race, which is also a thing, but speaking of food, hey buddy, finding any? Doesn't look like it. Maybe there's some food lying around here. Uh, nope, just sand. The guys at the cave are waiting for me. What are they going to say when they find out I don't have anything? Oh yeah, another one of us ran off to be guided by a goddess, whatever that means. Wonder if he's all right. Where'd he go? Said the goddess is somewhere around here. I'll mark it on your map. Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, like how does he actually see our map? I don't know. I guess he just told us like, you know, northeast of Mita, but before we take on that giant pulsating blob, let's run past these other blobs and the chicken. Find another, uh, Treasure chest waiting for us, which if I recall, I'm just gonna test myself as a pixie essence. Hey, I was right. It just goes to show I play this game way too much. Magitsuki pouring out turns to shards of light. Go near and wounds heal. It's horrible. <laughs> you think he'd be in a bit better mood. Appreciate the uh, tip, buddy, but. Already got five me, man. I'm pretty sure I missed one near the uh, Predator Cave, but hey, we'll be back there. So I'll just do it when we get the chance. Like I said before, I'm just not going to stress over it. So if you see one and I missed one, it's okay. We'll go back for it. No me, man left behind. And come to think of it, I need to get this one up here before we take on that red thing, just so you're aware. It's strong. Whatever it is. I mean, just look at it. It's red. And tall. Not like the me man. Look from high places. Might find lots of things. You might also not find a lot of things. Have you considered that alternative viewpoint? Something tells me he hasn't. Young man, I'm detecting the presence of powerful demons from within that red object ahead. That is what is known as an abscess. It is a nest of demons that have been drawn together by the overflowing spiritual power. Approaching it is dangerous, but we will need to destroy it if we want to reach Tokyo Tower. Combat is unavoidable. However, our current fighting capability may be somewhat lacking. 
I would advise we call more demons to our side and strengthen our forces. We'll be fine, Algami. You're so worried, but... Yeah, he's not kidding. Abscesses are very, very powerful. But, upon defeat, they grant the Nahobino hidden powers. And I want those. So, you gotta fight. I like to think of these as mini boss fights, and yeah, once you get close to them, they'll start spawning demons, and it only spawns like one wave of demons, and these are really slow guys, so <laughs> we don't put up much of a fight. Here we go! Wish me luck! We got three demons! How- Ooh. They got three demons too, alright. Well, I guess it's time to show off Omogatoki. Critical! Which is a Japanese word which has no English parallel! Okay, it kind of does. It's the time when evil spirits arrive. I don't know. Not important. What is important is with Omogatoki critical. Every attack we do will be a critical hit, including spells. Normally, a spell can never crit. However, that's what makes the Magatsuhi gauge skill so powerful. And yeah, Chicken Man's doing some damage. On top of that, our bestial bite skill is amplified if it's a critical hit. So as you can imagine, like Pixie said, it's killing time. It's so cute. It really shouldn't be when she says that. It just is. That's the charm of Shin Megami Tensei. When you bring the right demons to a fight, though, as you can imagine, some encounters become rather trivial. What? Chicken Man, no! You'll pay for that, you fiend! Actually, it's not a fiend. It's a Yoma. Fiends are different races, but it doesn't matter. Just burn already! Might actually take a bit. Yeah, our damage fell off considerably because now we're back to using magic, which is our secondary offense stat, but it's okay. That's what we got, Chicken Man! We should probably be all right here. I don't think uh, this poor Mandrake can survive much longer. Yeah, down it goes. Honestly, not surprised because, well, that's why I got the Chicken Guy in the first place. There you go. Our first abscess destroyed. And because we did all of that, you know, extra legwork before we took on the abscess, we were well prepared with knowledge of how to recruit Omaraki very easily. And it all just kind of worked out. Down it goes. Now it's time for our reward, which is access to new miracles. Yeah! These ones are extremely powerful, especially divine proficiency and demon proficiency. But we'll talk about that in a second. There's also an additional reward. With an abscess gone, your minimap will no longer be obscured. Well done, young man. Let us keep moving. Thanks, Algami. Wow, so encouraging. But with the abscess gone, there's nothing stopping us from pressing onward, except for the fact that we may die. And if you die, it's game over. So real quick, I'm just gonna run back to the ley line and save, and I'll meet you inside the World of Shadows so we can check out those new miracles. Listen. Nahobino, the miracles you have awakened are the embodiment of God's will. By destroying the abscesses that encroach upon Dot, the power of miracles have been kindled within you. However, that alone is not enough to wield the miracles. No. Learning miracles will require spiritual power, otherwise known as glory. Glory is but fragments of God's power scattered across the realm of Dot. By gathering this power and offering it here, you can harness these miracles to act as both your sword and shield. <laughs> if you are determined to obtain them, then enact Apothis and take the power you desire. Yeah, we already knew this, but thanks for the explanation, lady. She's ever so nice to us. So, let's see what new miracles we got. First and foremost, Art of Essence 1. This grants us an additional skill we can pluck from an essence, which is going to come in handy in the future. And here's the big one, Demon Proficiency. It gives us an extra skill slot for all of our demons. Currently, our demons can only have four skills at a time, while Nahobino is the same. While Divine Proficiency is cheaper, and ideally we are eventually going to get both, the Demon Proficiency is by far the most 
bang for your buck. We're talking about glory here, though, so that doesn't really work. As for the Cosmos tier, we now have Support Mastery, which is... It's going to come out and say it. Support skills are very strong. And Recover Mastery. I don't really use this too much on the hub, you know. You have three demons as your sort of... I like to coin the term demonic when you have uh, more demons. cheerleaders because, well, you have three additional demons that come in your party, right? And it only makes sense if the Nahobino is the star player for the other demons to support him and make him do the best that he can. Also to protect him because, yeah, if the Nahobino dies, that's us. We die too. So something to keep in mind. Oh my gosh, more Skittles. <gasps> Long time no see! You remember me, don't you? <laughs> of course you do! I was watching you. Oh, you must be pretty tough if you can take out an abscess like that! Still, you're super outnumbered. Bet you got a little beat up, huh? Oh, I know! Here, I'll give you this! Hmm, just so we're clear, I didn't do this for you or anything. I just happened to pick it up, so here, take it or whatever. Not exactly the best way to say thanks, but maybe it'll help you out? Maybe? If you want, I can find even more for you. Young man. This demon's intentions are unknown. I suggest we ignore her and move on. Hey, what's with the face, huh? You could at least try to look appreciative. All right, I'm gonna go find more stuff. Then you'll see how helpful I am, and then you'll take me with you. It's a promise, okay? That was weird. Anyway, back to Skittles. <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, beats are very helpful items, and you do have the opportunity just to be wary of the demon in the kimono and just be like, eh, I'm good. And you don't get the beat. It's just uh, one of the examples of branching paths in this game, but... I spied human to east. Rare, yeah? Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Does not, does not match at all. I think, I, I think I'm just gonna like, give up trying to match the Me Man voices. It's just not working out, but oh crud, okay. Oh, it didn't spawn, son of a gun. Okay, there's a chance, right? A chance a red demon can spawn up here. But I think it's uh, dependent on your save file. It didn't happen this time, but if it does, use the spyglass, okay? That's my little tip for you. Taking down those demons is super important, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Hello there, little lady. You're just sitting on a car, having a good old time. Now that I think about it, this place was in a netherworld until about 20 years ago. Before that, I heard humans used to live here. Nobody knows why this place turned all netherworldly, though. Not even you. Very small child demon. <laughs> I expected you to be the most knowledgeable in current events, but... No, this is... Oh, hey, that train that one demon was talking about. So he wasn't a total liar after all. Oh, glad you're okay. It's you, right? I know you look different, but... Somehow I can feel it. It's still you in there. Take a look. That's a lot of rust, but I'd know that green stripe anywhere. This train car's from the Yamanote line. But if this is the train, then... What exactly happened here? What could have possibly happened to Tokyo while we were in that tunnel? What? That makes no sense. Why would the train be here anyway? Never mind. We need to focus on getting more information. First, we need to regroup with the other students. Dazai was around there too, if I recall. What? Abducted? And by some kind of angel? 
Well, I suppose that decides it. We should split up and search for this angel. Don't worry. The truth is, I can control demons. I'm with a group that's working to protect the world. They gave me a demon summoning program. A host of demons is trying to drag Tokyo into darkness. And we have the power to stop them. I'm not just trying to protect myself. I'm fighting to save everyone. For now, let's split up and look for Dazai. If I find anything, I'll let you know on the app. This place is full of bloodthirsty demons. Living legends waiting to cut us down. But we can't die out here. Young man, before we begin our search for the angels, I would first like to go to Tokyo Tower. If I can regain my memory data, I may be able to better support you. And if that is the case, then I believe the search for your friend will become easier as well. Well, the good news is we found Yuzuru, but not even he knows what's going on. This could be worse, though, so let's think on the positive side. In this episode, we gained some new demon allies and powered up with miracles and demon essences. So, we're still hanging in there, here in the netherworld. Thank you all so much for checking out this episode. I hope you're enjoying, and see you next time, where we explore more of this destroyed Tokyo. Bye.